Hello, it's me here at O'Reilly's. I have here another Vauxhall Vivaro, same as the Renault Traffic. Okay, so I'm inside this vehicle. It hasn't got anything on the dash just yet, but the customer has his own diagnostic machine that he's been clearing the fault codes with. So I'm going to use this scan tool, Tink Scan 689BT. So as usual, I'll put the link in the video description down here where you can buy this tool. It's under £500. I've got an official link for it in the, in the description there. Uh, discount code Jimmy O'Reilly for it. Uh, yeah, so it's just a... It's a it's a, an amazing tool for the money really um, and I've been asked to use it in a lot of my newer videos because people wanna don't want to see me just using it on a review video they want to see it in real life and here it is okay so we have this fault code is what we're concentrating on today U059F invalid data from Knox sensor 1 so this is if we go in the Opel system on these so if I go back if you've got a Renault version of this basically I can show you um, if we use it as a Renault, you'll you will get a different fault code, and you can get even different variants of this fault code. It depends what is actually wrong with the Knox sensor. Now I've actually got a dozen of these to do in the next week. Um, so um, will I make just a one video, or we'll make a couple of different videos because um, they might have different fault codes. So we'll, we might make a few different videos on these. This is the part that we're going to be looking at. Nox sensor, it's got a little ECU on it. And it basically looks like an oxygen sensor except it's got more wires. And of course, an ECU built onto it. Okay, so we're going to run a health report now on the Renault system. Okay, so we do have a lot of other fault codes, which is pretty normal for one of these vans. Battery voltage, they all seem to have this battery voltage issues. Uh, we keep going down. So we're not looking at any of these today. This would be your code, which is very confusing up on these Reynolds. C59F87, add blue dosing module, computer missing message. So I've been, I've been fitting these parts for a long time and I do remember the first time I saw this, I, I, remember assuming to the customer oh there's a problem with your ad blue dosing module which is the ECU under the seat um, and it took me a fair while to figure out what it actually was and then I, I went in as a Vauxhall and gave me a little bit bit of better information it's not very often that the Vauxhall system gives you more information on these I usually like using the Renault system but in this case you can see how it can be confusing and I've seen customers spend two grand or more replacing AdBlue modules and other stuff software trying to get software fixes and the problem still arises I've seen that happen at least a dozen, a dozen times I've, I've, got, I've had loads of customers come to me telling me they've had the AdBlue module replaced because of this fault and it hasn't fixed it um, on, mainly on the Renault versions um, because like I said it is confusing it does tell you that there's something wrong with the AdBlue Dawson module it's a missing message which would which would in a lot of people's eyes point to there's something wrong with the ECU or the that control module and start looking in them areas so in regards to looking at live data on these there's not really a lot you can look at but we'll we'll have a look at the Knox it depends what comes up now really a blue quality sensor. No, see, there's nothing even in there. If you go to the engine module data stream, which is. Well, let's have a look. ECM. Well, there's no fault in the ECM, but we should have live data there for the NOx, which is strange. You'd imagine the live data would be in the. In the part where it's got the fault so it depends what it's under I should know this off my head I've done so many I can't remember now but it, after a while it just gets sort of anytime you see one of these you know it's Knox sensor one fault. I've never seen it be anything else other than just a simple replacement of the sensor.
Okay, so what I'm going to do for now is just clear all of the fault codes. And you can see immediately there, after clearing the fault code, it just comes right back. Okay, this is a rare model of Vivaro where the DPF is actually fitted underneath the van. Most of them are up above the subframe up there. So this one's got the pressure sensor here. And your nitrous oxide sensor number one is going to be this one. And then further down there you have number two. So we're going to get this open. It looks like someone's already tried dinner. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get some heat on this. So this is where we are, I've cut the knock sensor off and we're going to try and undo it with a gun because it's already been rounded off so we're not going to get this open using my socket down there, the wrench so we're just going to try it like this Ok so that's got it out but we are now left with a problem where the thread is disintegrated basically. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to use this tool here, it's from Pickler Tools here. It's a knock sensor repair kit basically. I don't think there's any part numbers on it to be honest, but that's what it is. I don't know if there's anything on there. 6052500 NOX and Particle Sensor Service Kit So these are to basically drill out the hole You can cut it out and then put an insert in But I think first in this case I'm going to try and just re-tap the hole basically Don't you just love when you question the customer and then they tell you Oh yeah, a few people have tried to get it off and they couldn't um, if I'd have known that, um, I would have been a bit more prepared and maybe quoted a little bit different on it as well. Um, we're now going to have to use specialist tools to try and drill into it, get retread it, and hopefully get it on. But it's going to take probably five times as long as I expected it to. Okay, we're back under the van. We've got our tool ready. So you can see this tool has got this piece on the end. What that does is when you get it in the hole. And make sure that the thread is evenly leveled up so you're not going to put it in on on the on an angle like like so it's going to fit in and sit directly straight okay so what i've done is we've just greased up the uh thread tool here and obviously wound it in i'm just using a an electric to just wind it in and out a few times That's what we should be left with. Okay, we've got the old unit out from up there, and you can see there. I've had to snap this off because the bolt again that holds it on up there is seized in place. Uh, I'm just going to try and get that out now. Okay, so we look inside. You can see the pins are exactly the same. So what you don't want to do is start pushing the plug in when it's a different fitment. Look at that! Look how smooth that goes in. Beautiful. Okay, so that's what's come out from the old uh, thread holder that's just come off of the tool. So that one I've used there was the M21.5. Absolute lifesaver, this tool. And here is the old knock sensor. So, what I've done is just cut it off with a grinder uh, so we can get a gun on. Obviously the, the impact and vibration from the gun is going to have a lot more chance of getting it off. And yeah, that's worked, but obviously we've had to cut that off. Okay, now we clear the fault codes again. And then we see if we read the fault codes, we should now have none just like that. And magically now we have a green tick in all of the different areas. 
So that's it, another Vauxhall Vivaro, this time with a seized on knock sensor, yeah, but we've got it off, we've retried the hole, fitted a new one. All done. See you on the next video. Once again.